Hey guys, in this video we're talking about the second situation you might have when you're talking about a collision and how it affects momentum. And that's when two objects come together, they collide, and afterwards they get stuck together and then they both move in the same direction. So we've got an example we have before our first mass is a thousand kilograms and it's traveling at 20 meters per second in the positive direction. I said that the positive direction is going to the right. Our second mass is 1300 kilogram and its velocity initially is negative 10 meters per second. So 10 meters per second in the opposite direction going towards the left. After the impact, they're stuck together, so they have a combined mass of 1,000 plus 1,300 would be 2,300 kilograms, and their final velocity is what we're trying to solve for. So as always, we're going to say momentum before equals momentum after. Momentum is a measure of mass times velocity, so we have two separate situations, the momentum of the first mass and the momentum of the second mass. Together, they make up the total momentum before. So you're going to take the mass of the first times the velocity of the first equals the momentum of the first, plus the mass of the second times the velocity of second equals the momentum of the second, and that's going to equal our momentum after. So m1 was a thousand, make sure we're in the frame, and then the velocity was 20, plus m2 was 1300, and the velocity was negative 10, and that equals the momentum after. 1000 times 20 is going to be 20,000, plus 1300 times negative 10 is going to be negative 13,000, that equals the momentum after. 20,000 plus negative 13,000 is going to be 7,000. And the momentum after, momentum is mass times velocity, it's going to be this, m1 plus m2 equals the mass of the whole thing, and then times the final velocity. m1 plus m2, we said was 2300 kilograms. So to solve for the final velocity, all you need to do is divide by 2300, and when I do that, I get Vf equals 7,000 divided by 2300, which would be about 3.04 velocity is meters per second. So this is a positive number. Up here, we said that the positive direction goes to the right, so our velocity is going to be this way. It's going to be 3.04 meters per second to the right. 